In this video I'm going to show you how to work with filters, advanced inline filters in Google Analytics to try and get a better understanding of your brand search terms. By brand search terms I mean the keywords that brought people to your site who already knew about your name, the site, the brand or something like that. I can't show you any of the normal e-commerce sites I work on for obvious reasons so here instead I've gone to a different extreme I used to be involved in publishing a skateboard magazine called RAD or RAD about 20 odd years ago and this is a, I have a site called When We Was RAD which is a, a sort of archive of material from there. So we're looking at the keywords which brought people to that site and as we can see there's RAD magazine which is the name of the magazine, When We Was RAD which is the name of the site so all this is looking kind of uh, encouraging those are brand terms when we were rad that's obviously a sort of variation on the brand term rad skateboard magazine is another right the first thing to do when you're doing this exercise is turn up the number of rows displayed to something more significant so you get a better flavor of what's going on see there's another example somebody using the actual full domain name as a navigational search so the first thing I would do with this is let's just try for RAD. It was called RAD Magazine. So we're going to filter for keyword containing RAD. And that looks pretty good. You know, down here was RAD. If we go up to the top where we're seeing the bulk of them. Most of this looks fairly good. That one's a bit dubious, that's not actually really a brand search term, but there's only five visits, so I'd be prepared to live with that. This is a nice, nice example. You'll find that happening a lot on your site, I suspect, where somebody is searching for a brand term and an individual product or some individual item within the site using a search engine like Google to land right into the correct part of your site. I would still deem that to be a brand search. They know where they want to come. It's on your site that they expect to find that. So all those looked fairly good. The trick then is to check what you might be missing. So swap this over so it's showing keywords excluding the one that you've just chosen. And hit go. Let's go up the top and see what we've got. So small, da, da, da. this all looks good. This is the nothing, nothing that's us there, nothing, nothing. Oh, now that's interesting because Fat, P-H-A-T, was the a version of the magazine that we published briefly afterwards. So that really is a brand term. And look at this, R.A.D, that's another variation. That's what we used to, that was the actual proper formal name of the magazine, was R.A.D. So we need to do something about this. We want to get those, include those in the search as well. Now then, you might think that the way to do this would be using the advanced filter thing where you can build up multiple searches. So let's change that back to containing and we can add a new condition keyword containing. What was that other one? Fat. But do you see already there's a problem. There's These are both ands. There's no or. It's saying basically keyword contains rad and keyword contains fat. Apply that filter and you get no results because there is no such search as nobody searched for both those two together. Conceivable they might have done but they haven't. So this is a case where you need to learn to do something slightly different which is to use the, these, the, the inline filter is basically allows you to use wildcards and different ways of matching. You can use regular expressions in here. Now I don't want to go into the depths of that because it can be quite a complicated subject. But we need to say we want to search for rad or fat. And there is a symbol known as the pipe symbol on the keyboard which is usually depicted as a vertical line like that. It's a shifted thing normally on your keyboard. Find that vertical line like that and basically within this filter that is treated as or. So we're saying rad or fat and we hit go. As we can see, rad, rad, fat, 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 rad. That's good. Now the other one that we wanted to do 
was the r.a.d version. Now, unfortunately, I'm choosing an example here of a very strange um, search, so the, do the dots actually are going to cause problems in here, I think. But I'm just working it out as an example so that you can see whether that's doing what we want. And by and large, it is. So we're getting a load of rad magazines, different variations there. That's all good. Lots and lots of lots of those. Let's do the same test. Switch over to excluding. There we go. That all looks good. Doesn't look like any of these are actually the magazine itself. So there we have it. By using these OR symbols, the vertical line, the pipe, I've come up with quite a short little list there. And anything which matches one of those, we're basically treating as a brand search term. Let's switch it back to containing, hit go. And with the exception of the one, the history of the word rad, which I think we're just going to have to live with, that looks to me like quite a nice selection of keywords, which, if it matches, if the search matches one of those, we could consider that that is a brand search, that somebody, whoever used those, a phrase including those terms, already had a very, very strong idea of where it is they were coming. They were looking for us, as it were. And that is very, very important information. Once you understand what that list is, so what I would suggest you do is you copy and paste that into some handy note form that you have, because you need to come back to using that search string again and again in lots of ways, which I will cover uh, in another post. For now, you could simply just paste it into the keywords and search backwards and forwards to see, get an understanding of your branded search versus your other search. For example, you could also use that string to set up a Google Analytics custom advanced segment, which allowed you to identify all the searches which either did or didn't include your brand search terms.